what is up guys welcome back to part two of the tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create the main content of the site so the images and the text so let's get started by adding four new blocks and you want to go with a solid color intro with image so add four of those and uh, once that's done you want to align all the text to the center and the reason why you want to do this first is because at least in my uh, version of Mobilize, there's a bug in which if you start editing editing the text before you've aligned it, um, the align button st stops working. So start by aligning the text to avoid that bug. Uh, second, we want to remove the button and we want to change uh, the media on left side on uh, number one and number three so remove the button remove the button plus media on left side and then just remove button there we go so with that done uh, we can go ahead and change the text so I want to remove the bolding from the text to start off with um, like that and then I'm going to change the title to say welcome I'm just going to quickly change these uh, you can obviously put in whatever you want <clears throat> do, 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 do. okay so with that done I'm going to add in some dummy text and if you go to lipsum.com you can find plenty so just copy and paste some of this um, into the website there we go and let's have some more and two more And the last one. So there we go. Okay, now let's change the pictures. So click on the image and change it to whatever uh, whatever image you want. So I'm just gonna put in the ones that I had for my website. So let's see, food. And um, the bed, then finally the car thing. All right, there we go. So now uh, the, what we want to do is we want to change the font size of the title. I think we're going to go with something like 30 pixels. Um, I, think, I think I had 20 eight or 30 in my example I can't remember but 30 will do maybe I even had 32 yeah I think I might have had 32 so I'll change it to 32 here uh, real quick bam and the last one 32 there we go. So with that done, what we want to do next is we want um, sort of like the edges of the images uh, to touch each other. And the way we do that is we have to remove uh, the padding from the block. Um, if you click on block parameters, you can see that you can sort of fiddle with the padding, but it has a default value that you need to remove with uh, custom CSS. So click on edit code and unlock the HTML editor and uh, this is the class that you want to that you want to edit so if you want to do it in the CSS editor uh, you do dot and then paste in this name right here and then you change it I'm just gonna add it here to save some time so padding um, 0 px and I'm gonna copy this so I can quickly put it in on Every single one so click save and you can see that that removes the padding and I'll do it on this one as well 
do, 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 do. There it is. Paste that in. And then, whoops. And the last one. Okay, uh, where is it? There. Click save. All right, so that should take care of that. And uh, now we have uh, this problem where there's like a tiny little padding at the top. I'm not sure what's causing that, but if you want to find out, the way you do it is you click on preview in browser. And then, oh, that reminds me, I need to remove the animations as well. Anyways, if you want to find out uh, what this sort of like padding at the top is caused by, you simply right click on the image and select inspect. And then you can sort of see, so we can see here that it's the MBR figure uh, that is causing the padding at the top. So if we remove that, it's going to align perfectly. So, okay, uh, back into Mobirize and remove that thing. So go to edit code and in the CSS editor, we want to edit MBR figure and we want to remove the padding. So padding uh, 0px and hopefully this does uh, remove it for every single element, but it did not. So I guess we have to manually uh, type it in. This is, uh, I guess, like every block has its own style sheet or something. Uh, it's a bit stupid, but uh, haven't really looked into why this is. Uh, I guess I will in the future. Uh, I'm going to copy this so I can just paste it in. Uh, and then final two. And then the last one. Okay, so that fixes that. So that's pretty much it for the main content. Uh, the only thing left to do now is, um, I'm not sure you will be able to tell, but this is not like a solid white color. This is a bit of a grayish color. I actually have to head into Photoshop and figure out which color I used. So I'm gonna do that for the next part along with uh, showing you how to create this uh, this header section and then we are pretty much done so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the uh, final part of the tutorial